Hello everyone, today we'll discuss about uh, bronchoscopy and bronchoalveolar lavage. This is Dr. Mohammad Hafiz. So why do we do bronchoscopy? Bronchoscopy, it is mainly indicated for the inspection, uh, evaluation and diagnosis and management. Inspection uh, in the sense for the, as you go down, you uh, inspect the upper aerial digestive tract, then you go for the larynx, how is the vocal cords, is there any paralysis, and how is the, both the airways, and they investigate any uh, SVC or superior vena cover syndrome. For the evaluation, it is, uh, and also for the diagnosis, if a person comes with a chronic cough, or wheeze, or uh, x-ray showing as an unknown etiology of x-ray as persistent pulmonary infiltrates, or a pos uh, positive <coughs> sputum cytology, and uh, diffuse and focal lung diseases or a uh, thermal and chemical inhalation. For all these where diagnosis is uh, difficult, we go in evaluation with bronchoscopy. And also for the management of tracheoesophageal fistula, which is very important, and for the staging of lung carcinoma, any stenosis, for the removal of the foreign body, very important. And uh, persistent at lactasis uh, and lymphadenopathy. Other is also uh, helps in the assisting of the intubation, okay? And uh, for the percutaneous tracheostomy, uh, then brachytherapy, intralesional injection of drugs, stent placement, okay? In investigate unexplained uh, pleural effusion. So for all these, uh, and also for surveillance of the lung transplantation. So for all these conditions, uh, we use bronchoscopy. So what are the bronchoscopic findings? It is very important to know before interpreting any cytology, the normal one. The normal color of our bron uh, of our aero tra airway tract is pale pink, a pale pink. If there is presence of granulation tissue, it can indicate inflammatory mucosa. If there is irregularity of mucosa, it can be an early malignancy. And uh, if there is a raised lesion, it can be a malignancy. Then uh, cauliflower like lesion, it is gem, uh, it is squamous cell carcinoma, mulberry, it is adenocarcinoma, and an adding of airway it can be extrinsic compression by the mediastinal nodes. Okay, and uh, an acrotic appearance of the mucosa is the small cell carcinoma. Uh, so, if there is a narrowing of airway, which you see while going proceeding, it can be suggestive of uh, the compression by the mediastinal nodes. Okay, and then if there is necrosis, it is uh, a small cell carcinoma uh, and granulation tissue what is it it is an inflammatory mucosal lesion so what do you mean by bronchoalveolar lavage it is originally described in 1970s as a liquid lung biopsy what is the concept behind it the concept is that the cells and the non-cellular components of the epithelial surface of the alveoli they are representative of the inflammatory and the immune systems of the entire lower respiratory before doing a pre-bronchoscopic evaluation, it is a must uh, to obtain a chest radiograph, then uh, co coagulation studies, then CBC, then a cardiac evaluation for patients who have a uh, coronary artery disease. How, how do you prepare the patient? You first obtain an op uh, informed concern. Then uh, if it, the patient is an outpatient pr uh, procedure, the patient is advised to be NBM uh, for four hours. He should be usually accompanied by a patient. And uh, bronchoalveolar lavage is usually indicated uh, prior to any other bronchoscopic procedure to avoid specimen contamination. Uh, you see the X-ray and then determine the ideal site of lavage. In diffuse infiltrates, the most common site is the uh, right middle lobe or the lingula in this uh, supine position, and the patient in the supine position is preferred. So how do we go ahead with, uh, first is the anti silox which is atropin 0.4 mg IM. It is the most commonly used. The basic indication is for drying of secretion and reducing the vasovagal response. However, it's not uh, usually recommended on routine basis. Another one which is uh, used is benzodiazepine. It produces amnesia and anxiolysis. And uh, it is given in the dose of 1 to 2.5. Dose is important and uh, short fast onset of action and shorter half-life and flumazenil it is used to uh, reverse the sedative effect of benzodiazepines other medication which is used is the opiates it decreases the laryngeal reflux and cough response the most common use is the fentanyl 25 to 100 microgram iv 
short acting parenteral and naloxone uh, reverses the opiate sedation through direct competitive inhibition should uh, only be used in cases of significant narcotic overdose the topical anesthesia which is used most commonly is a lidocaine uh, it has a fast onset of action wide therapeutic window it is applied in the glottic area and the safe dose is seven less than seven mg per kg However, we should be aware of the risk of methemoglobinemia when used even in smaller, uh, small amounts. It can be uh, reversed by the <coughs> administration of methylene blue. However, it should be minimized as there may be bacteria static effect of lidocaine. So, how do you proceed is you pre-medicate the patient with bronchodilators or warm the saline solution, position the patient in a supine position and area that is lavaged is the right middle lobe or the lingula. But lavage, it can be done in the most affected areas of the lung. In pneumocystis uh, pneumonia or the PCP, it just should be noted that the upper lobe had, has a higher yield. See, as we pass the bronchoscope, the most common site which is preferred is the middle lobe or the lingula of the la left lung. Uh, while passing the scope, you apply monitor and supplemental oxygen. The additional assistance is required at least one respiratory therapist. Uh, the assistance, he should uh, monitor the vital signs, administer and record medication, handle specimens and assist with the bronchoscopy and other equipments. The equipment which is used are flexible bronchoscope, sterile correction trap, suction tubing, sterile saline vacuum source, syringe and lidocaine. Other uh, equipment which should be kept, which should be kept is uh, endotracheal intubation, CPR, resuscitation, vascular access, needle decompression for pneumothorax. This is the bronchoscope. Here you connect the port. Uh, this is the syringe, and here you connect the other end to the trap for collection of the bronchoalveolar lavage. And this is the suction apparatus. Suction apparatus, uh, the setting is made in the setting of uh, minus 80 centimeter of water. Uh, lower pressure may be used if complete collapse of the bronchus occurs, preventing collection of the large. So, thank you uh, for further uh, slides uh, or presentation. We'll describe about the technique, the procedure, the complication of bronchial lavage and transbronchial lung biopsy.